talking about the NFL draft. We know it's right here, right around the corner. Um, and just like she mentioned, we are going to see more people heading here, and that means more traffic, more traffic at the airports as well. Yeah, people coming here to spend their money too, mm -hmm. right? To help support our economy. And Zora Asbury headed there to the airport to see how travel right now is shaping up so far. And also what you need to know if you got some friends or family in town, you got to go to the airport to pick mm -hmm. them up. The NFL drop kicks off this week and is expected to bring lots of traffic here to Harry Reid International Airport. But airport officials are asking those who are traveling to and from the airport to be prepared. It's been really busy here. Um, you know, the last couple of weeks that our, our checkpoints have been not quite at 2019 levels, but we're getting closer. We're seeing a lot of people coming through, lots of big events. You know, we had BTS back to back weekends that obviously drew a lot of fans. We have the NFL draft. We have the National Association of Broadcasters, their convention coming into town, which is always a big draw. So, you know, we expect it to be really busy around here. Here are some tips. If you plan on heading to or from the airport this week, travelers leaving Las Vegas during draft week will need to arrive at the airport early, at least two to three hours to avoid any issues. You know, do things like if they can check in online, um, you know, and just really plan ahead. Know your route through the airport, know where you're going, um, and give yourself plenty of time. Now, if you're simply dropping off or picking up loved ones on draft week, be sure that you're entering the correct terminal. It's also important that you drop off passengers at the departures curb and pick up travelers at the arrivals curb. Also, airport officials say parking in Terminal 1 is in high demand. So, you know, we've seen the last couple of uh, couple of weekends here that our Terminal 1 long-term parking has filled up. We've even seen our Terminal 3 economy lot, uh, you know, getting filled. And so, you know, plan ahead again. Know where the maybe the Terminal 1 economy lot is. Give yourself enough time if you need to plan out there. Uh, don't try to park 30 minutes before your flight and, and you know, try to make it. And if you've just arrived and you're already in town enjoying the NFL draft, welcome to the fabulous city of Las Vegas. For more information on how to get to the draft experience, you can head over to our website, ktnv.com slash NFL draft. In the Harry Reid International Airport, Zora Asbury reporting. I feel like every time I go to the airport, it's just busier and busier. So great <laughs> advice. Also, you can look at Harry Reid International Airport Twitter page. They always post if the parking lots are full. That gives you a little heads up before you head out the door. Also today, the organization NFL Green is teaming up with Verizon and the city of North Las Vegas to plant trees at Craig Ranch Regional Park. Then more tree planting will happen at Springs Preserve. That is tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, NFL Draft Prospects will host a football clinic for kids. NFL also planning a big inspired change event that is happening at Boys and Girls Club on Wednesday.